It is bitterly cold out here. So what do you do as a mother when your furnace doesn't work and you want to keep your children warm? Well, according to neighbors, the woman living here used a space heater, and it might have compromised her children's safety. I looked out the door and it was just rolling, rolling in fire. The fire was just coming out the door, out the windows. And all I heard was, ah! A loud screaming like somebody was in a hellfire. Terrence Norris lives next door in the 13,000 block of Dwyer Street near McNichols. He ran outside without boots on his feet when he heard the screams shortly before midnight. She had a baby in her hand. She was like, My babies, my babies, they in the house, my babies. So I ran right over there and grabbed a brick from off the side of my house. Bust the front window, all the doors was locked. I don't know how she got out. I assume she climbed through a window. The 40-year-old woman jumped from a second-floor window, breaking her leg. She was hysterical. I was trying to calm her down so the little boy could calm down. You know, she was trying to grab him. I'm like, you shouldn't touch him, you know what I'm saying, because he burnt, so you shouldn't touch him because you're going to make it worse. The four children, ages 12, 6, 2, and 1, were all taken to Children's Hospital, some for severe burns, others for smoke inhalation. And they were shooken up, and um, the one little boy, he was burned pretty bad. He was burned pretty bad, face and hands and arms. When I called DTE Energy, they told me electric and gas were working, but crews were on the scene this morning inspecting the house. Neighbors believe a broken furnace left the family staying warm with a space heater. I know they sleep by a space heater, so I just feel like it got burnt dead by a space heater. Fire crews battled the cold and a busted nearby fire hydrant. When they turned the fire hydrant on, the water main broke. It's been running all night. While neighbors are thankful everyone made it out alive, they say the family still needs prayers. From Detroit's east side, Spitha Koloki, 7 Action News.